Hi, this is Debbie Dashinger with the Dare to Dream show, and I'm going to talk about turning on your love. How's your love doing? Because I'm going to tell you, turning on your love is absolutely going to change your life. First, I want to do a little bit of fun stuff. I'm having a contest. Ten people are going to win tickets, and here's how you enter. You go to my website, DebraDashinger.com, Debra Deborah, and D is in David, A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. You must register. For people who don't love instructions... <laughs> I love instructions. I always follow them. Follow them. Just sign up. First name, last name, email address, and then go to the contact form and just write something very quick on the website. This is who I am. Give us your name and your email address. And I want to go to the GATE Global Alliance for Transformational Entertainment event on February 2nd at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills. So obviously you have to be in Los Angeles in order to go on February 2nd. And... It's a celebration of transformational entertainment, media, and arts. Jim Carrey, the actor, is the, one of the founders of this. Also, the spiritual author, Eckhart Tolle, he'll also be there, as well as Edward James Olmos, Olivia Newton-John, and, I mean, on and on, some of the most amazing authors and musicians, and it's a whole amazing event. So if you'd like to win a ticket, because the tickets are between $100 to $500, you'll get in for free, but you got to go to my website, sign up, bada-boom, debradashinger.com. Send me so also something on the contact form. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you there. And I'm going to be conducting interviews, so if I'm interviewing, don't interrupt me. All right, let's turn on love, baby. It's time for some love, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows. It empties today of its strength. That is a quote from Corey Ten Boom. Are you worrying? And if you are, just... Can you choose, right, in this moment to just release the worry? Because, why? Because is it really getting you anywhere? Is it solving what's going on? Do you feel any better? Oh, heck no. Any, any of us who've been there and have worried know what that does. It makes you crazier. It totally paralyzes you and in fact solidifies exactly where you are and what's going on. Not very healthy. So what you could do is just make a choice, make a choice to shift. Hmm, love. Okay. Because it always makes any situation better. So, let's shift to love. And let's talk about something called micro moments of love. I'm going to talk a little medically here because this is what's interesting. Micro moments of love can actually heal our physical cells. Emotions, as you know, trigger hormones. Think about the way things happen in our body. So, genes, uh, hormones influence the way genes are expressed in our body. And think about the negative emotions that we feel. For instance, when we have a great deal of stress, it releases adrenaline. And I can really go into physically what happens to us with adrenaline, but it is not good unless you're in a serious crisis situation like you need to lift a car or something. So adrenaline will be pumped into our, our bodies, which prime cells for inflammation and many other things and cause disease. So, on the other hand, positive feelings then trigger the release of oxytocin which has the opposite effect and sets us up for a healthier life. So wouldn't it be smart to add more micro moments to our life? I think so. How can you do that? Why, go out and be social. Social, you say? Shouldn't I be madly in love? Well, that's awesome, and if you are, cheers, and here's to you. But here's something very interesting. Research actually shows that the benefit of love does not require that we be in a relationship or living near family or friends. It's true. Research shows that if you just connect even with a stranger and have a moment, have eye contact, share a laugh, share a micro moment, that it will shift you. Never trivialize connecting. Look how important and wonderful this is. Just connecting even with a total stranger. That brief encounter means that is just as important as eating, just as important as working out. Spread the love because <clears throat> partners, family, friends, and people you hardly even know. Hi, I hardly know you. Let's have a micro moment. Mm, awesome. The more loving you are in everyday life, the healthier you can be. Now, there's a researcher by the name of Barbara Fredrickson, PhD, 
and she coined micro moments of shared positive emotion. And her research found that such moments have the potential to lower our risk for disease and actually influence how our cells regenerate. I want to regenerate, so come, let's, let's have a ha ha ha, let's have a moment. Anyway, I adore you. I'm having one with you, all of you right now. When our brain triggers love, it triggers the release of the hormone and neurotransmitter oxytocin. So first, a warm feeling, feeling is just shared between people. Then our brains actually sync up with the other person as when we laugh at the same joke. And last, there's an investment in each other's well-being. Doesn't connecting and laughing now sound so much more fun? Can't you now release the worrying? Vai bava, right? So have a lot of social connections. And research has shown that, that people who had the most social connections over a nine week period had better heart rate, better breathing, an indication of their body's capacity to stay calm after stress. They had a noticeable vagal tone, it's called, that was very positive. It restored their capacity to be well. <clears throat> So, if you're overwhelmed, I want you to think about large goals versus bite-sized goals. If you're overwhelmed, just think of this. Instead of going, oh my God, I have all these mundane chores, or I finished all that yesterday, and oh, I have another to-do list, right? If it feels really unrealistic, it's just too big of a you then chop it into bite-sized, action-oriented tasks. So, each little step brings you closer to that big goal. I don't know who that is, but we're not going to answer right now. Let's keep going. There are parts of us that are unbridled, like our passions. And in terms of evolution, our consciousness always evolves from lower to higher. Yes? So the events of our lives, one might say, are caused by our future pulling us rather than past our past pushing us. So, what about free will, you may say? What about choice? Well, the idea is that the past, the present, the future do not exist separately. It is in the unfolding of the decisions made that we experience the individuality of time and space, of yesterday, of tomorrow. God, the one indivisible, the I am. That which is beginningless, endless, past, present, and future, and which has always been and which will always be. So if you're in love with someone, in love with many people, if you just experience love, it's a beautiful thing because you have love here and there. And it is true when you see the eyes of love, that is your truth. So practice looking at everything in the world with love. Don't make small those interactions that you have in passing because they're actually changing your health and making it so much better. Send everything with love and acceptance, gently and lovingly instruct your highest self, your soul, to begin building a more perfected vehicle for the reception and transmission of ever higher levels of awareness and understanding. I am Debbie Dashinger. Go to my website, DebraDashinger.com. You can sign up for that contest if you register there. Also, my best-selling book on Amazon.com teaches you how to make your dreams and your goals come true. And there's tons of amazing products, and I adore all of you, and I'm sending you so much love. Love, love.